Oh, oh no. <laughs> I mean, it took us, what, 23 episodes or whatever, but it finally happened. Beverage all over the computing device. I mean, not all over, but like it. It's a little bit on there. Welcome back to the Veteran and Rookie Podcast. Eventful start uh, to an eventful week, hopefully. Uh, it was an eventful wild card weekend. That uh, was a lot of fun. Started off with kind of a blowout, but kind of expected. I almost nailed my score prediction for Niners Seahawks. What 40, did you say? I, I said 41 17. Um, and I said they would get their last touchdown on a garbage time touchdown because I thought it'd be 41 10. It was 41 17, and then they got their garbage time touchdown. To make it forty-one to twenty-three, so darn you Seahawks! I was close, um, and then I was also very wrong about my uh, Bucks Cowboys uh, prediction. Like I, I even made like a, a little cl- clip of it and put it on Instagram and TikTok, and and people were like, "You're stupid," and I am. <laughs> Didn't I? That's the only you game we differed on. Why is this? Uh, I thought that was the only I game think we you, differed you, on. I think you picked the Cowboys, but like in the clip, you're like, "I hate that you're right." Yeah, and but so, I still pick the Cowboys, and I'm yeah, glad. Yeah, that was good for you. I have a clean clean slate in the... Uh, I'm glad that I was wrong, but I didn't think I was going to be wrong. I didn't think I was going to be which right, Which is why I I'm said that. also glad that you I'm You also wrong. did... You're like, I don't like this pick, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm glad I did. I stuck with my gut. Um, good thing that game didn't come down to a, a, a game-winning kick for the Cowboys. Dude, was Priest. Brett Maher doing his best. He missed three all year. I don't even all know year. It, what impression he's doing his best Brett Maher impression I guess just you know he, he it's a new thing it's never happened before in the playoffs four missed extra points in the playoffs good thing it wasn't close because otherwise he would not have a job right now mm-hmm. but I'm glad that he does because I mean he had a bad day if Dak threw four picks he'd still have a job so which he does a lot he does, he does throw do a lot he, of didn't, picks. he had probably the best game of his career on Monday night though like he was on fire there, and then the Bucks had a little bit of life at the end, and uh, that that it was it was far too little, too late, even for uh, Thomas. Yeah, he got a garbage time touchdown. It didn't really. Yeah, it was like, make... but the it was thirty-one to six for a good chunk of that end there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was ugly for Brady. I, I'm I'm glad that they lost. I yeah. was rooting against them. I can't. I wasn't necessarily rooting for the Cowboys, but I was rooting against the Bucks. Mm-hmm. Uh. Dak threw 305 yards and four touchdowns. Yeah, he had a great game. So a regular day for Patrick Mahomes, but it's <laughs> it's not Patrick Mahomes. No, that was yeah. I, Brady, I'm threw, glad that they took care of the Bucks. Get Brady threw 350 yards and two touchdowns, but he had an interception. Mm. Maybe Tom Brady played better. Uh, he did not. <laughs> he he only had two touchdowns and he got a pick, and he was. He was 35 for 66. Yeah, the Bucks have not been good at running the ball all regular season, and that continued in the offseason. Um, I saw after the game they fired their offensive coordinator, Brian, uh, Byron Leftwich, who was basically locked in to get the, the Jaguars head coaching job last year, and then he refused to take it. And, man, did Jacksonville dodge a bullet. Because, uh, yeah, they got a much better head coach. They're not in the playoffs if Byron Leftwich is their head coach right now. So dodging a bullet there. He'll he'll get a job somewhere else doing something. But uh, he was not good with the Bucks this year on offense. Yeah, he'll get a job flipping burgers at McDonald's. Because, mm-hmm, I mean, they just they, – they, uh, he sure loved those two-yard runs right up the middle. He really he was, did. He was all about those. But at least he didn't throw a three-yard pass when the game was on the line. With fourth yeah. and eight, man, Kirk, what were you thinking? He did his best uh, Josh Dobbs impression, I guess. He did. Oh my goodness! Oh man, this—I I don't know if this is correct, but Justin Jefferson caught one of one for negative two yards. That's his passing. Oh, he was passing that. He had like forty-seven yards, I think, in the game or something like that. Uh, he had 47 yards, and yeah. he caught the ball seven times. He's, he's He was locked down at the end of the season, whether it was by the Packers. I mean, the Bears, that doesn't really count because I think he only played like half the game. Yeah, Thielen um, got more yards than him on three receptions, and TJ Hawkinson got 10 with 100. Hawkinson and... was busy. Hawkinson goes hard, dude. Hawkinson's a top three uh, tight end, I think. But not even he could get <clears throat> Kirk Cousins' check down to a first down. No, because there were no blockers there, and he was like 
two yards. When he caught the ball, he was like two yards away from the line of scrimmage. Mm-hmm. And and uh, I don't know. It, it's I don't know. Stupid. I am a little bit concerned though about the Bills and, and the Bengals. Yeah. Because I mean, especially especially the Bills, but really both of them. Like I was expecting both of them to win their games handily, similar to San Francisco against Seattle. And those games were way too close for comfort for both of those teams. Uh-huh. Um, they definitely both got their weaknesses. Um, obviously, everyone deals with injuries, especially at this point in the year. But they both feel like they're not playing their best football right now. Uh, and they're going against each other. So uh, oh, we'll, we'll have see. to see what happens in that one, I guess. But, I mean, Ravens almost got a last-second Hail Mary there at the end of the game. Mm-hmm. Just off the fingertips of uh, whoever that was, number three their receiver and then yeah the bills and, and the dolphins i mean freaking i i was watching the game 17 nothing i turned it off for probably 20 minutes or whatever i'm driving around you know i was a responsible driver uh and then and then i get to my destination i check my phone and it's 17 all yep and i'm like what happened and then uh, the dolphins take the lead they took there was a there was four or three or four lead lead changes in like 10 minutes yeah and it was like uh, Skylar Thompson. How Skyler- is he doing this to you? And I guess it was less him and more just the Bills hurting themselves. Josh Allen with three turnovers. Yeah, they uh, are. not it. Uh, Skylar Thompson only threw for 220 yards with one touchdown and two interceptions, and they still almost beat the Bills. O- o- only lost by three. Josh Allen had two hundred or 352 yards through the air with three touchdowns and two interceptions. And he uh, rushed for another 20. Yeah, Josh Allen's got to, you know, clean it up a little bit against Cincinnati because that shouldn't fly against them. But then again, like Cincinnati wasn't taking advantage of everything their defense was giving them against the Ravens. So, like, I don't know what to expect in in that game. I feel like it would be more of a Bills game if they had um, – uh, What's their really good pass rusher? Von Miller. Von Miller, especially with three offensive linemen out for the Bengals. If they had Von Miller, I would, I think, I would definitely pick twelve the Bills. Sacks. And and right now it's just, I don't know. We'll get there when we get there in the show for our picks. But right now it's, I, I don't know how to feel about that game. Yeah, beating the Ravens by seven, and the Dolphins by three is uh, kind of, kind of, uh, I don't know. You know what game we haven't talked about yet, though? The what? The Chargers. It's a twenty-seven zero. What? Oh, the, the Chargers yeah. Jags. Yeah, the Chargers and the Jags. Charge. What? Los happened? Angeles Chargers. What happened? Yeah, that was. Oh, uh, how you lose the Jacksonville Jaguars? Jaguars. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh! I mean, when when uh, Trevor Lawrence got that touchdown at the end of the first half, I'm like. Maybe they this can carry a little bit of momentum in, uh, um, but for some reason, you know, I, I, I'm not surprised about this game. Like even if it was twenty-seven to zero, I was like, it, it, it would be a, a such a Chargers thing to do though, if they let Jacksonville get back into this game. I thought maybe they'd let Jacksonville get back in, and then like the Chargers would end up winning by like four mm-hmm. or something like that. But then Jags go for two after that. Uh, penalty that makes the extra point one yard closer go for two get that and then which makes the the field goal at the end a game winner instead of a game tire man chargers that and uh justin Come on justin herbert only or well he only has a good amount of yards as he threw for 273 and only one touchdown he only threw one of the touchdowns. Five the turnovers, and you lost. They're the only on team the, to ever do that in the playoffs. On the other hand, Trevor Lawrence was 28 for uh, 47, which is kind of a lot, and 288. Four touchdowns and four interceptions. Yeah. What in the world? Talk about a tale of two halves. My gosh. Yeah, it was it was dominant. I'm looking at it here. It, it, first half is seven – or first quarter is 17 for – for the Chargers in yeah. the second quarter's ten, and the Jags barely squeaked out a uh, touchdown at the end of that quarter or the mm-hmm. end of half. Yeah, excuse me. It very well could have been twenty-seven nothing at halftime. Yeah, and then the Chargers got a field goal, and that's it. Uh huh. And and goose egg the rest of the way. Crazy, crazy Chargers the moment, but 
Yeah. Trevor Lawrence. No one really expected them to go far, but no one really expected the Jags to uh, come back from being down by uh, four scores. Not really a Jags like seven do, years ago, but yeah, uh, yeah it was worst uh, team in the league last year, and they just beat the Chargers, and now they're in the uh, divisional round of the playoffs, taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, what a game! What a game! Well, before we get into those results, um, actually, should we recap what we picked there? I guess yeah, we could do yeah, that. We didn't have a, a draft. Um, I'm trying to remember. I didn't have it all written down. I think we both took the Seahawks. Yes. Or, I mean, the, the Niners. Don't we did say not Seahawks. take the Seahawks. We didn't. Um, I took the Jags. Did you? I think you took the Jags, too. I believe I did. We both took the Bills. Uh, I think we both took the Vikings. Do you remember if you took the Vikings or the Giants? I know we, we had the same until the Cowboys. Came. Okay, so we both must have picked the Vikings. L. L on that one. Both picked the Bengals. Dub. I'm happy about it, though. I'm happy. I'm yeah. happy the Giants beat the Vikings. Oh, yeah. They don't go any farther. Good for them. And you know what? I hope they beat, beat the Eagles. Beat the Eagles. Yeah. Eagles Honestly, suck. Like the, 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 these Giants have a just a feel about them. You know what I mean? Where it's like they don't have a ton of stars. I mean, Saquon Barkley is kind of like their only star. And I guess, you know, it depends where you categorize Daniel Jones right now. But Daniel Jones is middle of the pack. Maybe but, I mean, what middle. he's doing with a bunch of receivers who basically weren't on their team to start the season, a tight end who wasn't on any team to start the season, and then their defense is, it's there. Yeah. Like, it, it, it it's middle of the pack. It's and, functional. Yeah. And, and they locked down Justin Jefferson. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. These, I could see him pulling off the upset. I really want to see that. Yeah. Now, do I think it's going to happen? We'll have to see later. We'll but, find out. But no. <laughs> and then the one place where we differed, I took the Bucks just because I was like, it's Tom Brady against the Cowboys. I mean, you know. But but uh, you know, Father Time had something else to say. Thirty-one fourteen should have been thirty-five fourteen. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, Cowboys dominant in that game, and that was the first time I think I've ever been happy to see the Cowboys dominant. Let's go. So we both went, or no, you went five and one. I went four and two. That's not a bad. That's better than Vegas. That is. Vegas is is four and two right now, I believe. Mm -hmm. On that, yeah, because they probably took the Vikings and the. They, I don't, they, they, I don't think they took the Bucks, did they? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'll I'll look that up. Something. But uh, for our fun draft this week, we're doing something you may have seen on like TikTok or Instagram or whatever, where like they have like the filter and they have to make a team out of, you know, whatever random team. We're basically doing that, just minus the filter part and with a wheel with every NFL team on it. Uh, and we're, we're just going to give our own shot at it. We're going to be picking skill positions on offense and then a defense, a O-line, and a special teams. And mm-hmm. I'm going to let you start off first. We're going right. to just go Spend down the, the list, quarterback, uh, running back, wide receivers. Oh, we're just going down the list? Oh, or uh, we can't. Um, we don't choose. have. Actually, yeah. Go ahead, choose. Just, uh, right. just make sure you write it down. I got Carolina Panthers. Give me DJ Moore. Okay. Receiver. It's not a great team for it to land on, but yeah, that kind of sucks for you. Uh, it, the the wheel is spinning and it lands on the. God. Oh no! You got. I Washington have the Redskins. Redskins. Who do you want from the Redskins? I'll take their defense. They got a solid defense. They have a solid defense, and that's about it. Yeah. Uh, are we doing snake, or are we going to go back to you? I'm okay doing either. If you're... We can just go back and forth. Snake okay. doesn't really matter. All right, go ahead. So I got DJ Moore, and who I got next? Oh, baby, give me the Niners defense. Ah. Oh. You know what? I wouldn't have picked that. You wouldn't have? What would you picked? I would have picked uh, I would have picked McCaffrey CMC. or something? Yeah. I would have picked CMC. I see that, but I mean, best defense in the league. I'm taking it. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You, I think you can get a good defense and you can still get like a good. Oh, I got the Eagles. Ooh. I'm going to take their O line. Yep. That's that's exactly I'm going to take their O line. They have a top five receiver, which is really hard to mess. to, to, to It's hard to not pick him. And it's hard to not pick mm-hmm. their quarterback or their other receiver. Or see, this is the same thing I just had. Yeah, where, that's, like, fair. that's fair. That's fair. Team, but okay. like they're the best at the one thing. Yeah, and their O line is just incredible. So I'm taking that, and it's uh, back to you. 
Okay, let's see. If you land on the same team, you can uh, pick the same thing. Or not the same thing, but you can pick a, a thing from that. So you, you wouldn't be able to pick Oh, them. man, I was scared. I almost got the Falcons. I got the Eagles. So you can't pick um, their O-line. Can't pick the O-line? Uh, give me give me A.J. Brown. Yeah. Yeah, that's a I was good tempted to go quarterback there, but I think I can get something better. You think so? Uh, I got the Seahawks. Okay. Uh, ooh, I know who I would pick. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll pick I'll I'll pick. Uh, I can't remember his name. Who are you thinking? Of? The receiver. Which one? The better one. Lockett. Yeah. No, not Lockett. Metcalf. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking Metcalf. <laughs> what do you mean Lockett? I'm trying to throw you off. No, Lockett's no. solid. Lockett's good. He's a good receiver. Yeah, that's who I would have taken. He's a good was, number uh, two. Was DK? I'm taking DK Metcalf. He's a freak. He's oh yeah. A, he's a genetic freak. Uh, it doesn't translate the best to receiving. He's a still a really good receiver, but like he he's genetically he's just built. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I got Tampa Bay. Oh. Let's see. I got both my receivers. Take the old man. I got my. Uh, Every defense. I, I'm not. I, I already got my defense. Hey, got Brady always wanted to play with the Niners. He running can play back. With the Niners defense. I need a running back. I need a quarterback. Special teams Special and an O line. <sighs> that O line protects Tom Brady pretty well. It's a solid O line. It's not as good as well. I guess a, a healthy Bucks O line. I'll take the O line. Okay. Yeah. It's not my favorite, but it's there. I think I'd I, rather have Hurts than Brady right now, though. Buffalo Bills. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Isaiah McKenzie. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Stop. Special teams. Uh. Hey, oh, actually, their special teams is good. Yeah, I'm not taking it, but you think you're gonna get Mahomes? No, I'll I'll take <laughs> Allen here. I That's think, a, yeah, top three quarterback. I feel like skipping up on him is is criminal because I already yeah. have a really good receiver. I know, I know that he's not as good as uh, as Diggs, but uh, I think he's good enough. Yeah, I spun ahead. In advance. What'd you get? Got the Houston Texans. <laughs> Let's go. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, I wish I didn't take another receiver. What are you thinking? Because I would have taken Cooks. Uh, give me Damian Pierce. He was good in the first half of the year. <laughs> Damian Pierce for your running back? Yeah. I still have my running back, my special teams, and a receiver. So so yep, let's see. Who are you taking next? I'm kind of nervous. I don't want to get the Houston Texans. <laughs> yeah. Uh... uh I got the Titans. I'm taking oh. King Henry. King Henry. Yep, that's a good one. I think I think I'm doing that's good. That's easy. I like this. I had a really good start, but my last two have not been it. I'm loving what I'm getting. My defense is shaky, but I think I think we're getting it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, Jonathan Taylor. I got my running back already. Oh no! What do you have left? You have uh, a quarterback. Quarterback special and uh, special teams. Give me the Colts special teams. Oh, I'm God. rolling the dice. I'm not taking Matt Ryan or anyone there. Matt Ryan or whoever's on the bench right now. I have the Seahawks again. All right. Okay. I have a. I, have a, I still have a wide receiver, don't I? Uh, yeah. You need you have a wide receiver and a uh, running back and special teams. Yeah, wide receiver, running back, special teams. Hmm. Who is the running? Back? No, no, not running back. You already got Henry. I got Henry. I got Henry. Yeah. Uh, you need a receiver and you need special teams. I don't really know how their special teams are. Uh, their kicker one uh, got a first team All Pro. I'll, I'll take their special teams because I think Lockett's really good. I think there's other stuff out there though, and uh, it kind of makes it more exciting because if I pick this and then just special teams is left, that's kind of boring. All right, this is my quarterback. <laughs> quarterback spinning. No matter what. Come on, come this on. Is, this Maybe is I should have taken Hurts earlier. Let's see it. I end up with Brady anyway. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. that's okay, I guess. Okay, so this is my last receiver. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm sweating, man. This is this is scary. This is not, this, I, that's how I felt, but worse. No, <laughs> you got that Texas. Wait, you needed a receiver? Yeah. You got Brandon Cooks. He's good. Oh yeah. I hate you. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I like this one. This was fun. Oh man. We could do this next week too. I like. I like. The, we're gonna. Oh, do you want to do a rematch? Yeah, we're gonna cancel <laughs> like right fun now. draft and just do. Uh, you know what? Let's do it right this now. It's gonna be a shorter episode. Okay, first let's lift off my team, our teams. So quarterbacks. I've got Tom Brady. Yeah. You've got Josh Allen. Mm-hmm. Running backs. I got Damian Pierce. You got King Henry. W for me. That's uh two and L for you right now. Yes, sir. 
Wide receiver number one, I got AJ Brown. Yeah, that's better. You than got mine. DK. Yeah, you yes yes uh, you. It's mine there. Wide receiver two, DJ Moore, Brandon Cooks. It, it, it's, I think that's a tie. I think yeah. I think we both get a point there. I think maybe you give the edge to DJ, but uh, it's it's a tie. Yeah. Um, offensive line, best in the league. Oh, we didn't do tight end. Oh, we can do a tight end. Let's spin, spin again. It right now. Okay. Give me the Chiefs. Give me the Chiefs. I guess I'm stuck with my quarterback, but. Uh, Dude, I don't know who the Panthers tight end is. You got the Panthers tight end. Okay, let's see what I get. Uh, let me see who that is. Uh... <laughs> oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> I got the 49ers. Oh, oh, my gosh. As if it wasn't bad enough. Who's the – I don't know who they're tight So I got is. George Kittle, and you have some bum from uh, – what did you get, the Panthers? Yeah, some let's see. Some bum from the Panthers. Um, you got the Panthers twice, didn't you? You got DJ Moore. I got Ian Thomas. Ian Thomas. That's... Who had uh, 197 yards this year. Cute. Is he the starting tight end? I don't know. He's one of them. He's one of the tight ends. That's the one you got. Oh. I, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm happy with that. I'm, not, I'm very excited. So you went team. Kittle. I went Ian Thomas. It's close, but I'll give you the edge. Okay. Thank you. Um. Uh, offensive line, Bucks, Eagles. Again, you got it. Yay. Uh, defense, Niners, Redskins, that's mine. 100% yours. Special teams, Seahawks, Colts, uh, Seahawks. Okay. I like that. I got a big old fat belly on that. Fella. Yeah, you did. Like We it, could do this in the that, offseason. That's like a 27 to to 7 type game at least. Oh, I think even more because we have Derrick Henry, who's just a monster. My running. saving grace is the 49ers defense. Yeah, but listen, Derrick Henry with the Eagles O-line, and oh and gosh. Josh Allen, so Derrick Henry runs one way, and also Derrick Henry at quarterback. Then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Derrick Henry throwing to Josh oh Allen. Oh my gosh! Man, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? And uh, I, I, no, I can't choose the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you can choose better though, because I could have got a lot. Do you want to do it again right now? I do. I do want to spin okay, it. Okay, you you spin first. Spin first. I, I'll see what we get here. I, I hope, hope we get the Texans every time. I got the Panthers. Um. I got the Panthers first last time as well. You want to take Ian Thomas? I'll take more. I'll take DJ Moore. You're going Moore, DJ Moore? Yeah. Receiver. He's my receiver. I'll take him as my receiver too. Yeah, I mean that's what he was for me. So So what what do you uh what do you you gotta spin the wheel? I am spinning it. <coughs> and it's gonna give me Ooh, the Rams. Give me Cooper Cup. Oh, okay. That's like not an injured Cooper Cup. Not injured. It's like a obviously. Yeah. He yeah. was he was balling this year before he got hurt. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm glad I got them now. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna take D Hop. I, I got yep. the Cardinals. I'm taking DeAndre Hopkins because he's the only good player. He's the only good player on their team. I guess you could take Murray as your quarterback. No, I don't think I will. Maybe like two years ago when he was slightly less terrible. Minnesota Vikings. Uh, give me Hawkinson. Really. Over Jay Jettis? Actually, no. Give me Justin Jefferson. I was thinking tight end because I already drafted a receiver. No, yeah. Give me Justin Jefferson. Yeah, you're welcome. Jesus Priest. Yeah. Man. Big, huge I don't know whiff. what I was. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm stupid. Huge whiff. Oh. Jaguars. I got the Jaguars. Oh. Uh, <laughs> man. I don't. This. Ugh, I don't like this. I don't like the Jaguars. Yeah? Uh, I'm. I'm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like. Uh, who's their receiver? Uh, Marvin Jones and Zay. Oh, Jones. oh, I'm gonna take their tight end. I'm gonna take their tight end. Um, uh, oh, Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram. He's listed as a tight end. He basically just does uh, receiver work. I'm taking now that Ingram. He, now that he's good. Yeah, I'm taking. He's, Ingram. He was dog crap with, with the Giants. I'm taking Ingram. I was about to take the long haired. I thought you would. I mean, that's not a bad quarterback. Yeah, but he's just inconsistent, and I need people for him to throw to. Seahawks. I already took two receivers. You did. You did. You don't have any receiver spots open. Um, I'm tempted to take Geno. I mean, I waited too long last time to take a quarterback. Gino you did. balled out this year. But I'm going to go what you did. Give me their special teams. That's a good pick. Because they also got a like, good return. and Yeah. Yeah, I think, that's a, I think that's a respectable pick. Dang it. I got, I'll take Green Bay special teams. Oh yeah, Nixon. I'll take yeah. Nixon's a really good punt. Yeah, that's return. one that no one would have taken in years past until this year. Good, good punt return. I think their kicker. Uh, what's his Crosby's name? reliable. Crosby's reliable. He's an old dude, but he's reliable. Uh, yeah, it's not my favorite, but it's special teams. What can you do? 
Okay, it's, I'm on the Raiders. Again, I already took two receivers. Sucks. So give me uh, give me uh, Josh Jacobs. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I would. I'm I'm fine with him or Waller. Waller's good. I think he can get better. Or I guess not, because he he laid out the league. Oh, uh, where do you go here? Uh I don't have a good receiver right now. I have an okay receiver. You already have two receivers. I have two receivers. Hopkins have? and DJ. I have Hopkins. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm taking uh taking Joe Burrow. I got the Bengals. Yeah, I thought it. I thought it was the Bears for a second because <laughs> these, these are not Bummer. color coded. I was kind of sad for a second there, but I got I got Joe Burrow in the. Uh, Back in there. I need a good offensive Los line. Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, I got them. Uh, oh, you could have taken uh, Eckler if you if you would have taken. I would have taken Herbert anyway. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm going to take Herbert. I'm taking my quarterback now. I'm not going to leave it up to for, to fate. Not to fate, yeah, because last time it didn't do you too good. Vikings, I'll take my tight end now. I will take. Uh, oh, Hawkinson. no, I have my tight end. I have Ingram. Yep, you Gosh, do. dang it. What do I have left? Um, I have running back. I have running back. You need a running back. line and defense. O line, defense. Yeah. Dang it! You don't want their defense. I don't. I I'll take Cook. Yeah, he's been good in the past. He's been good in the past. He wasn't as good this year. Uh, he he had the most negative runs in the league. Yeah, but so. he was pretty good. He uh, leaning a lot on the fact that they would throw it to their really good receiver and their good tight end later in the league. Yeah. He caught a big screen pass in their comeback against the Colts. That was cool. He did that, yeah. Pittsburgh Steelers. Ooh, if you had – oh, I feel like we could get three wide receivers. <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be more – Yeah. Fun. I'm going to take their defense. Okay. TJ Watt and company. He's gone. No, he's not. Not yet. Ah, oh, the Lions. Oh man, you you know a bunch about the players on the Lions. Yeah, but none of them I can use this year. I can can't use any of them. You I got don't D-line, need O-line. a running back, and you don't need a receiver. You don't need a quarterback. <sighs> I guess I'll take O line. Yeah, that's where I would go. It's the only place I can go. I can't go. They defense. got a solid yeah. offensive line. Yeah, but I can't go defense here. No. Um, let's see. Yeah, their offensive line helped uh, Jamal Williams get the most touchdowns in franchise history. New England Patriots. What do you have left? Let's see. I have a quarterback. I have a running back. I have two receivers. There. Uh, I need an offensive line. Patriots offensive line ain't terrible. And I need a uh, a tight end. I don't even know who the Patriots tight end is. Uh, it's uh, Hunter Henry. Hunter Henry. Yeah, yeah. I remember having He's him in fantasy solid. two years ago. I'm gonna go Hunter Henry. Okay. So you're leaving it up to fate with defense or O line. Yes. Just like how I left it up to fate with defense. Let's give it something good, please. What are you getting for defense? A Seahawks. Okay. That's that's fine. okay, I guess. That's not a terrible defense. At least it wasn't the Bears or the Lions or the or the anyone else that was bad. I guess so. Like they're very middle of the pack. They were very up and down this year. Hopefully they can and be my up for my offensive team. line. It's the Broncos. It's it's okay. Yeah. Uh, it hasn't hasn't uh, their quarterback got sacked a lot this year though? Yeah, I think. I think that's a that's lot. That's not all on the. A offense. lot of that's like, his. Part fault. of it is for sure, but. Yeah. So, like so uh, it's, uh, what's the team look looking like? All right, quarterbacks: Herbert and Burrow. That's you. Thank you. Running back: Josh Jacob or Cook. That's, that's you. mine. One one. Uh. Receivers, I got Cup and Jefferson. You got Hopkins and Moore. Oh my gosh, you got I'm Cup myself, and Jefferson. Yeah, I'm I'm giving myself both those points there. Jeez, brutal. Uh, tight end Hunter Henry. You went uh, Hawkinson. I think no, you went Evan Ingram. Uh, I'll that t- goes to you. Yeah, I'll take that. Man, I wish I got Hawkinson on that. But defense, Steelers defense or Seahawks defense. I I'd give it to the Steelers. I think both lose that one. Yeah, neither of them are great, but I mean, one has T.J. Watt and the other doesn't. So. That's true. Uh, offensive line, Lions and Broncos. I think the Lions have a better offensive line. I do as well. This is a lot closer. Oh, special teams also. I went Seahawks. You went Packers. That's I pretty think even. I'd say. I think I'd take Packers on that one just because of their partnership. just because of Nixon. 
Just because yeah. of Nixon, because everything else is pretty close. Because that's game changer. It really is. Like he he'll, he gets ninety yards in a second. It's yeah, because completely flips the field. Punt returns like the Bengals would not have won that game. I don't think if they had not got that kick return. Or was it the Bengals? No, no, they got a that was something. They else. got a fumble. They got a fumble return. That's yeah. different. But um, the, I the, think this is closer. I th- the Bills got a kick return last. They uh, got two last week. Yeah, two last week, and it, they wouldn't have won without them. I think this is a lot closer. I'm giving myself the slight edge, I think, on this one. Really? I think so. For for uh, special teams? No, no, no. For the teams as a whole. Oh, oh, yeah. I think you have way better receiving core. I think Hopkins is... I think my offense all around is better. You have the better quarterback, but I have almost everything better around him for a slightly less good quarterback. Yeah, like top... He's like six in the league. Yeah. So six, seven. Number three or two. Two or so. three, yeah. I'm giving myself the slight edge there. It's it's a lot closer than yeah, like a 17 and 23 game, 24. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. This is fun. I like doing this. We'll do this a lot in the off season. Yeah, we'll do this in the off season. We'll do some other stuff. We have some stuff cooked up. Let oh. us know who you think won in the comments below. Yeah. Uh, now on to our draft. We didn't do a draft last week. We're gonna do one this week, even though there's only four games. Um. So what we're gonna do. Is we're just sticking with two categories because obviously that's all we can do. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do best game, and we're gonna go lowest scoring game. And the way we're gonna do it is whoever chooses first, the other person chooses the other two, and then leaves the last game to them. Yep. So uh, I'll let you choose first. You letting me go first? Um, game of the week. Uh, give me Bills and Bengals. I think that's the easy choice. I think that's, even though, like like we said earlier, they're both struggling, but like since they're both struggling, I think it's going to be good. <laughs> like I, I think their struggles are going to kind of just like match each other. The struggle bus. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Not not even that their struggles are like that bad compared to the rest of the league, but like for for a top tier Super Bowl contending team, one of them isn't going to make it, obviously. And so, th- I think this is going to be a good game. It was a game that we only got. Half of the first quarter of this time, hopefully we get a full game this time. Yeah, uh, my my game of the week is going to be Cowboys Niners. Mm-hmm. Cowboys and Niners have both really good defenses. I think one and two in the league. Um, yeah, may, maybe three for the Cowboys, but I think it's debatable. He's they're at least top five, uh, and the Niners have the best defense in the league. With almost in every category, you can say that they're top five. I saw a thing, I think it just in like yards and points, and there was some other thing I saw when I was watching on TV, mm-hmm. and they're either top one or two. Yeah, in almost everything, except for quarterback. And mm-hmm. their quarterback hasn't lost yet because nope. of the team. I mean, he matched Jimmy Garoppolo's playoff touchdown count. Yeah. Jimmy Garoppolo's played in six playoff games. Purdy's played in one. And he didn't throw an interception, I don't believe. I don't think so. He probably had one of his worst games. Because he was he was missing throws, especially in that first half there. Yeah, he, he was, was looking a little rattled. But even then, he wasn't that bad. Yeah, he was eighteen for thirty with three hundred and thirty-two yards, which is crazy for a rookie in a playoff game. Man, I with I, three touchdowns, it'd be a lot of fun to see them go to the Super Bowl. I I want them out of the NFC. Yeah, and I want the Bills obviously out of the AFC. But I'm okay with the Chiefs beating my Bills. I'm okay with any of the, really any of the teams going right now. Like. If like the Bucks had won on Monday night, then I'd be I'd be, I'd be rooting, rooting against, against them. them. But like, even if we got a uh, a Jags Cowboys Super Bowl, which I would say is probably the least likely Super Bowl that we have left, or maybe Jags Giants. I think Jags one. Giants is least likely. Um, but I mean, I I think that would be a really good game either way. I think I was telling you. Did, did I tell you what David's pick was? It was uh Niners was, Bills, right? No, uh, he has Eagles Jags. He, oh, he picked the Jaguars, which okay. I mean, that's yeah, that's interesting. Because like, if you look at the teams that are uh, at the AFC teams, at least uh, the Bills' defense has taken a step back because mm-hmm. of all their injuries. The Bengals' offensive line is back to where it was a year ago, Terrible. which obviously didn't matter throughout most of the playoffs because he got to the Super Bowl anyway. But um, yeah, and then and then the Chiefs' special teams has been making games way closer than they should be. Mm-hmm. It was always the Jags. It was always the Jags. That wouldn't that be so much fun though? A team that goes four that that's four and eight, and then boom, like two months later they're in the Super Bowl. Yeah, and uh I think I think the long haired pretty girl 
at quarterback can drop, you know, six touchdowns, do 450 it. yards on Patrick Mahomes, Mahom- Mahom- Patrick Mahomes head top and just yeah. And Patrick Mahomes throws the most interceptions in his career, doesn't throw for over 100 yards, you know. And there's also the the MVP curse, which I I don't want to put too much into that, but it's just like the winner of the MVP hasn't won the Super Bowl in the same year in, in like 25 years or something. And a lot of the times the MVP is on a team that's a Super Bowl favorite. Mm-hmm. And then they lose. It doesn't mean anything. No, not really. But, like, it's it, it's a thing for sure. Yeah, I feel out of the uh, – Emma Holmes is probably winning the MVP. Yeah, out of the 12 teams that played last week, uh, the ones I didn't want to see in this divisional round lost. Yeah. I didn't want to see the Ravens there. I, I didn't want to see the Vikings. Because we no. all knew they were frauds. Yeah, I'm so glad that the Giants won because of uh, their coach. Honestly, this is like the perfect world. Yeah, I, I'm glad. I would have been okay with the Chargers too. I would have been okay with the Seahawks. I, I would have liked to see the Seahawks, but you know that wasn't. But then the Niners aren't there, and yeah, but yeah, I would have liked to see Gino. I'm so glad the Dolphins didn't win, even though they were really close. But probably because they'd be rolling out Skylar Thompson again this week. <laughs> It'd be boring. It'd be boring, yeah. and the Bills wouldn't be there, and they're exactly like. Same division, that, and I don't like yeah. it. I hate the Dolphins. I'm okay with pretty much anything happening now. Yeah, the uh, honestly, the teams I don't want to see in the Super Bowl are the Chiefs and the Eagles. Because mm-hmm. Eagles, are, everyone's riding them, just being like, oh my goodness, I mean, it's the best the team. It's two one seeds, so yeah. like, that's that's boring. I mean, last year we had two four seeds. So. I don't want to see the Eagles there because everyone's riding them, saying they're so good and the best team in the NFL, and they're so perfect. I think and more people are saying the Niners are the best team. I think they are saying that now. But throughout the season, oh yeah, throughout been, most of the year, yeah, it's been Eagles, 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 and and they almost lost the one seed. Um, yep. And then the Chiefs, uh, they stole the one seed because of you know death on the field. Mm-hmm. But it, wait, he didn't die. He's fine. Uh, I, I don't know if he's fine, but he's better. Yeah, he's not dead. He's not dead, which is a good thing. Big W. Yeah. Uh, I I want I want anybody except for the Chiefs and the Eagles. Which game do you think is going to be lowest scoring? Lowest. Sc- Scoring. Mm. We got our Sunday games already off. So you have to pick one of these Saturday games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought it was biggest blowout, but I guess I was wrong. No, you were wrong. I was wrong. Yeah. Which uh, one do you think is going to be the lower scoring? I think either one of these could very well be the right answer. So. Yeah, I don't want to leave you with a good one because Eagles defense is real good. Giants have been playing real good. Yep. I think if the Giants are going to win that game, it, it's got to be lower scoring. I don't think they can put up 40 points like the Eagles can. I don't know, because the Jags kind of ball out. Jags Jags put up a lot of points. They do. They put up 31 last week. The Chiefs put up the most points in the NFL this year, or uh, very close to it. Probably close. It's probably either them or, like, the – yeah, it's uh, them, right? The yeah, Chiefs. Chiefs uh, this is – I didn't update this. Hold on. It probably updated by itself because you reloaded no, the page. No, it did. Uh, wow. They, they, have the mo- they have almost 500 points this year. Yeah. Which is crazy. And the Jags have been playing good recently, and I think it's going to be a lot of points scored like overall there because both their defenses kind of struggle. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go lowest score. I'm going to go I'm gonna go Giants-Eagles. Ah, I, was really, I thought you were going to yeah. go Jags-Chiefs, and I was like, yes, I get the one I want. No. But no. I'm going to leave you with Jags-Chiefs. I think it's going to be a lot of points there. I think there very well could be. I could also see – I could even see like a 28-24 game being the lowest scoring game of the week. Like, mm-hmm. We're not dealing with the Broncos or, or the Ravens anymore. So These are good teams. This is the playoffs, the divisional round. Mm-hmm. Which is why I chose that category uh, for us to do because that's that's a difficult one. It is a difficult one. I had I had my eyes set on the Giants and Eagles from the beginning. I just wanted to explain it more because uh, Jags are – throw me off the scent. I think Jags are going to ball out. Yeah. Speaking he, of uh, – what you think about these games. Yeah, I think Jags are going to ball out and throw a lot of points down, but I don't think Mahomes will be beat. Yeah, Mahomes, so you're taking you're Mahomes taking will not go down without a fight, and I don't think he'll go down at all, honestly. Yeah. I think um, that's Chiefs. I want the Jags to win and knock the Chiefs out so that the Bills don't lose to them later. Yeah. But, uh, but who knows? You know, screw it. I'm taking the Jags. Yeah. I'm going to take the Jags. Even though, like, in my predictions video on my YouTube channel – or whatever, or on, even on our podcast last week, we talked about our full playoff predictions, and I had it being Jags Chiefs with the Chiefs winning. Give me the Jags. Yeah, Why man. not? Why not? You know, the Jags are red hot right now. If they turn the ball over five times, 
they're not going to beat the Chiefs. Chiefs can capitalize on that. Because the Chiefs, yeah, they're better at capitalizing on stuff like that than than the Chargers are. Yeah, they'll make all those touchdowns or field goals instead of, you know, stopping halfway through. Like the the Jaguars could like maybe afford three turnovers and also hope that the Chiefs forget to play football in the second half, like what happened with the Bengals last year Mm -hmm. in in the Bengals Chiefs game. Give me give me the Bengals though. Or the that that game's later. Give me the Jags. I'm going for the upset. Heck yeah. Uh, Giants Eagles, what are you thinking? Also, Lawrence remains undefeated on Saturday. He has not lost on a Saturday. I think I was this like, be wow, the one. I was watching the game on last week, and I was like, that's about to change. Yeah, I think the reason he hasn't lost on Saturdays is because there's not a lot of Saturday games in the NFL. Oh yeah, but I mean that goes back to high school. Yeah, but he was really dominant in high school. Yeah, really dominant in in college. Really good. Yeah, team it's one of those him. stats that like does because he only lost two games in college. He lost two um, games in college and two in high school. And one of them I know was on like a Monday. Because uh, it was yeah. the championship. A Monday Joe and a Burrow. Tuesday, yeah. Yeah. He lost against Joe Burrow. So maybe we'll see him fight Joe Burrow. Ooh, that'd, the, be, that'd be fun. That would be fun. Eagles hosting the Giants. What do you what do you say? I'm gonna let you go first. You want me to go first? I do want you to go first. The Giants are playing good. I mean, the Giants were playing their backups two weeks ago against the Eagles. Mm-hmm. We're trying to win. And they played them really close. Yeah. And they but they have hurts this time. It was Minshew in that game, right? Nope, it was Hurts. It was Hurts. It was Hurts. Oh, Hertz, I didn't watch that Hertz game. Hurts who was hurt, um, and he's still, I think, a little bit shaken up. I think the bye could definitely help them, though. For sure, I think rest usually helps, but sometimes it'll get people off their game, out of their rut. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the Packers the last or last year at least, they were the ones. Don't, who? Yeah, and they rested their starters on the last week, so they basically got like two bye weeks, and that that I think that messed with them. Two bye weeks of doing nothing, no football. Yeah. Um. Frick, I want to pick the Giants. I also want I to. I want to. And I, I wouldn't be shocked if they win. Give me the Eagles, though. Yeah. That's... I already went with a, a big upset, so I'm going to... Going to keep it a bit tame. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, Brian Dable, right, is the yep. coach. Giants he's a, coach. He's been smoking. He's really good. He, he came in and turned this franchise around, and, you know, good on him. But, yeah, he just doesn't have the talent out on the field. To beat Philadelphia, I don't. Well, I mean, I I wouldn't say he necessarily did against the Vikings either, and shut down Jefferson. Yeah, good play calling and and good coaching. I, the Giants have to play a very very good game, like they did against the Vikings. Yeah, I want the Giants to win. I'm yeah, like I the said, Vikings are a much worse Daniels. team than the Eagles with a lot yeah. less talent, and their quarterback is worse, who doesn't run. Yeah, their quarterback and also doesn't throws run. checkdowns on fourth and eight. Checkdowns on fourth and eight. That could have been a game. Maybe Hurts will do that. Yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> All right, Sunday. So you're going Eagles as well. I'm also going Eagles. Okay. Yeah. Bengals. Bills. These are both my teams. Uh, That's right. <laughs> these are both my teams, and they didn't play. So you're either going to stay a Bengals fan or be a double Bills fan. Double Bills fan. I'm. Mm, I. I haven't voted against my almost, team all year. Yeah. And now you have to against one of them. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I just really don't know in this game. Yeah, I, I don't even know who I want to win. I'm a Bills fan, and I'm, I'm okay with yeah. the Bengals winning. Honestly, I think I would say for want to win, even though it would make my predictions wrong, I would go Bengals. Yeah, for want to win. But who's gonna? I don't know. I think uh, the Bengals have a better receiving core. They have three top tier receivers like their third receiver could be a number one receiver on like half the teams in the nfl oh yeah S- send over tyler boyd to green bay he's he's the number one guy for at least the first half of the year until christian watson broke out yeah yeah uh he'd be a number one guy a lot of places yeah but man i just i, I want the bills to win so i'm gonna pick them i think their defense is really good but it's been mm-hmm. a little bit crippled I think if Josh Allen plays early season Josh Allen, where it was like him or Mahomes for MVP. Yeah, he's got to play better. He has to play better. His arm, I hope, is all the way healed. I, I don't think it. I think it's mostly. There. Mostly there. Uh, he needs to run the ball a lot. Bengals defense is not the best. Mm-hmm. I just hope the Bills defense plays how the Beal, Bills do. Beals. Beals. <laughs> how the Beals, Beals defense um has been playing yeah earlier in the year. I'm going to I'm going to take Buffalo as well. And, yeah. and honestly like the tiebreaker there is just home field advantage. They got they got Bills Mafia behind them there. Crazy people. Yeah. And that's I, that's the reason. I think if this game was in Cincinnati I'd take the Bengals. 
but it's not. I I'm think it's a toss both. up. They've never played each other. Exactly. Yeah. Bill, uh, the one time they did, I mean, both teams were moving the ball efficiently. Mm-hmm. So, man, this is, uh, I this mean, got to be good. The Bengals had a touchdown, but it was they had a touchdown. And they were probably about to score again. It was early in the game, and uh, a stop was made. But stop was made. Yes, uh, stopped a lot more than just the ball. Mm-hmm. Sunday night, Cowboys Niners. Niners crush. You think so? I think Cowboys are going to keep it close. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I just the Niners. If the Niners had a quarterback like Joe Burrow or Josh Allen or oh Hurts my gosh. or anybody really. Never forget when Kyle Shanahan passed up on drafting Patrick Mahomes and took Solomon Thomas instead. Don't even know who that is. Exactly, because he's not on the team anymore. Yeah, even if they had someone like Tua or... or uh, that, Honestly, I'd, I'd take Purdy over Tua. Early season Tua. I guess so, yeah. That one game where he threw Pre-concussed Tua. Pre-concussed Tua. If they had, you know, even Daniel Jones, I think Daniel Jones would ball out on that. Offense. Oh yeah, I, but like if you put like a Joe Burrow in there. Oh my goodness! Oh, dude, he just has like minutes in the. He'd have forever in the in the pocket because, like, we, for him, he has and to get that ball pick out. Him apart downfield. Yeah, dude, just uh, he has to get that ball out like as soon as it touches his hands, gone, and he has to make really quick decisions. But he'd he'd have all sorts of time. He'd have McCaffrey over there just to if he needs yeah. to dump it. He can, you know, he can run it if he wants to, even though he doesn't run a lot. But he has an awesome offensive line, and that defense cooks. Mm. Mm. Give me the Niners. Give me the Niners, man. Give me the Niners. Please. Think Cowboys keep it close for a good chunk of the game. It's not a blowout, but it's probably like a two-score win. Yeah. For the Niners in the end, maybe they win by ten or or thirteen or something. You can't say anything uh, like what I'm saying about the Cowboys or any other defense in the league or offense. Yeah. I, I think if you put. Ugh, even Zach Wilson, if you put Zach Wilson, he's better for sure in that system. I think I don't he, think he'd be great, but I uh, think he would be, be better. Great, but I think the the they'd still win games. Yeah, I think they'd still be winning games. They'd still be a top because they're that team. freaking good. They're that good. Kyle Shanahan's the goat, uh, maybe not the goat, but he's he's really good at play calling. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of cool to see this new guy Purdy, twenty one, right? Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, something. He he's real young. He's twenty one. Reminds two. me of a young Stetson Bennett. Yeah, look like a young Stetson Bennett. Uh, but like I, I saw that one play where he like faked it to one, faked it to another, and then threw it downfield. Yeah. And uh, tight ends open, really good tight end. And this is him being thrown into the fire, you know, for the last I don't know, month and a half or whatever now. Yeah, he didn't have an off season to prepare. Like imagine, like it, it really depends what happens in the playoffs and whatnot. But like, if the Niners go into next season building specifically around Purdy, oh, I don't know if they will. How much better if they win the Super Bowl? I think they 100 percent will. Yeah, but I think Jimmy's gone after this year. Yeah, that's okay. Bye, Jimmy. And I think they trade Trey Lance for what they can get. Maybe, maybe I we'll think, see though. I think they'll put something into that's, Trey Lance. That's off season talk though. No, no need to talk about that for now. Yeah, I really hope Purdy wins the Super Bowl. Only because a rookie has never won the Super Bowl. Yeah. And uh, I think a rookie's only ever won one game, right? One game in the offseason or postseason? Uh, no. There's, no? There's been more. Um, Brock Purdy was the first rookie quarterback to win a playoff game since 2012, since Russell Wilson did it. So that might be what you're thinking of. But Yeah, but this no is going to be a good week of football. Last year in the divisional round of football, the first three games were all decided on a game winning field goal at the end. And then the other one was to, was uh, a kick in overtime, 13 seconds, and then uh, Mahomes did what he did. Man, dang it was Mahomes. S- probably the best week of football I've ever seen of just like consecutive banger after banger. And you know what? This might top it. It might. This might top it with Especially a scorching hot. The, the Packers hot. won't lose uh, this week like they did in that week. Yeah, with a scorching hot Jags offense. and a- Playoffs are more fun to watch when your team isn't in it. Yeah, I'm I'm buzzed right now. Like you don't have you're not like stressed. <laughs> at least at least that's how I am when I watch. I like Packers a lot of these teams though. It's not like I wouldn't be upset if any of them won the Super Bowl. Cuz I'm I'm a Bills fan. I like the Bills. I like rooting for the Bills. Mm-hmm. But I'm not like a but hardcore seeing, like you know Burrow holding the, the Lombardi or Purdy or or man, Purdy. You know, Doug Peterson again or man, ain't that Purdy. 
Ain't that pretty. Let us know your playoff predictions down in the, the comments below if you're on YouTube. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you next week after all these cool games. Yep. We'll hopefully recap the best week of football ever. Or, or just a really lame week. Where it's like <laughs> Really underwhelming week with a bunch of blowouts. <laughs> yeah. One or the other, I guess. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you next week. Yep. Bye-bye.